In this edition of 2020 Daily Trail Markers, seven candidates are in Charleston, South Carolina this weekend. Kamala Harris, Tulsi Gabbard, Tom Steyer, Michael Bennett, Steve Bullock have already spoken at the annual Blue Jamboree and with more scheduled to appear Saturday afternoon. The event draws thousands of voters each year. CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Lecrae Mitchell joins us now from Charleston, South Carolina. So Lecrae, let's begin with Senator Kamala Harris. She didn't just speak at the event. She marched with hundreds of McDonald's workers who were striking for a $15 minimum wage. Tell us a little bit more about that march. Absolutely, Rena. So you had marchers, you had McDonald's workers here, like you said, easily a hundred or so that were gathered right at the front of the entrance of the Blue Jamboree, which is this huge event that the Charleston County Democratic Party puts on. This is the tenth event, and they were here demanding a, a more fair minimum wage in their eyes. You know, they were chanting, "We want democracy. We want it now." And there were various chants because. Here in South Carolina, the minimum wage is $7.25 per hour. And so it's been a constant theme here at other events that I've been to as well. But definitely today, these workers are saying enough is enough. They need more to be able to survive and live. And so that's what we saw today. And Kamala Harris, Senator Kamala Harris, joined them as they were coming into the event. And she talked to them and they, they thanked her for being here with them today. Because when they have presidential candidates that are fighting for them as well, it brings attention to this cause that they don't always get. And what are some of the issues that the candidates are focusing on now in their remarks? Absolutely. You know, you're hearing people talk about the Denmark water crisis as people are as going here. That's a an area here in South Carolina that is dealt with water issues. You hear people talking about taking down corporate, big corporations. And a lot of the candidates are saying familiar themes, but it definitely feels like it has a, a, a bit of a South Carolina twang to it, if I might add. You know, Tulsi Gabbard is here as well, and she has a familiar phrase where she says aloha, but today she told Charleston attendees that she's been told here she has to say aloha, y'all. And so it's you do see where a lot of the candidates are talking about things that we hear them talk about on the trail all the time. You know, Kamala Harris made sure to mention that she's going to be fighting for higher teacher pay. But for these, for the biggest thing to remember is that for these voters here, it's a big deal to have, and it ended up being seven candidates here today, because that's not always attention that they get. And with South Carolina continuing to be a, an important place where people are going to swing through, this, this for the Charleston County Democratic Party and for the attendees here feels really big. Mm, and you've actually been speaking with the voters at the event there. What stood out to, about what they said to you? Yeah, so, you know, it's so interesting. Voters, they tend to know who they are ready to hear from before they get here. And so I had a chance to talk with some voters before the event started and as we were moving through. And what they were telling me is they were hoping to hear even from the candidates that couldn't attend, like Senator Elizabeth Warren. They were hoping to hear from surrogates from them. And, you know, former Vice President Joe Biden isn't here, but he brought a surrogate. You know, and you have them saying that they want it. They're, they're undecided still. You know, a lot of these voters, they haven't made their choice yet, but they're saying they want to hear from everyone and their surrogates. I, I had one woman, I said, who would you vote for if you had to vote today? And after she'd mentioned Senator Elizabeth Warren being a great choice, she then decided on Mayor Pete Buttigieg, mm. who she says she thinks is very smart and very qualified. You know, I think what you also see is that that answer changes by demographic, too. I talked to some younger college students who were all about all in for Warren, all in wanting to hear from Kamala. And then I talked to a middle-aged woman who was like, no, actually, I think Pete. So, you know, you could see the difference in, in, in responses from some of these attendants, attendees varying with age and demo. So interesting to hear their responses. Tell me a little bit more, Lecrae, about the Blue Jamboree. What is it and why are these candidates choosing to come to Charleston? So about 10 years ago, the Charleston County Democratic Party got together and decided, hey, we want to have a stump. And Gallivan's Ferry is a very popular stump here that took place a few weeks back. And they said, we want our version of that here, where candidates feel like they have to stop here as well in order to clinch the, the, nominee, the, nom the Democratic nomination. And so that's what you've had. They've created this event. It's been 10 years. You've got vendors out here and partners for the Charleston County Democratic Party. It feels like a festival, even on this over cast day but the biggest thing is that Charleston and this particular event is in North Charleston which is a different city than Charleston but still a part of Charleston County 
This is a part of the 1st Congressional District where Representative Joe Cunningham upset, as some people call it, um, the Republicans last year. And so this is going to be a top priority for Republicans as well as we go into 2020. You know, I've had representatives from the state GOP party here tell me that right after getting Trump reelected, taking back the 1st Congressional District is a top priority. And so you're going to see Democratic Democrats fighting to clinch it and Republicans hoping to take it back. And so that's why Charleston County in particular, um, the 1st Congressional District is going to be interesting. The other thing is part of this district is in the 6th Congressional District, which is Jim Clyburn's district, Majority Whip Jim Clyburn, who is a top Democrat here in South Carolina and in the House. So Charleston County is an interesting place to be and even more interesting today because you've got great food, you've got lots of Democrats out here and undecided voters for these presidential candidates to be able to pitch their message to. Sounds like a fun weekend. LaCrae Mitchell, thanks so much for that campaign update.